Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ask Lugness Monster, episode 63, the series on the channel. We're answer you guys' questions from the comments down below. So if you guys do want your questions answered in next week's video, comment down below on this week's video and I'll try my very best to answer it. Real quick before you get into the video, I do have a few announcements. Ask Lugness Monster is going to be changing. Obviously, I love answering your guys' questions, but every once in a while it tends to be repetitive with a lot of the same questions every week and uh, it just makes it not a whole lot of fun or uh, to, to, to really film or for you guys to watch anymore so obviously we're still gonna be doing question and answers but we're also gonna be throwing in something a little extra I want you guys to actually send me in photos of either your collections or your custom figures or your recent pickups and I will feature them in Ask Lugness Monster as a little bit of a different segment at the beginning of each episode. You guys uh, can either send me a photo through Instagram DMs or can tag me in a post and then I will actually feature some of those photos in Ask Lugness Monsters. Just another way for you guys to interact with me and uh, see some of your guys' collections and other stuff on the channel. So, yeah, please comment down below if you guys have a question or DM me on Instagram or tag me in a post. And I can always include those in a video. But anyway, th that being said, there are not a ton of questions this week, so... This one might be a little bit quicker, but going into the first one, Jay Prasad says, Moral Dilemma, you're going to Walmart to buy an exclusive Black Series 5s. There's one left, and it's the last one available for sale in your state. On your way to the toy section, you come across a fellow shopper asking f you for directions to the toy section. He tells you he's looking to buy a new Star Wars action figure. What do you tell him? That is very, very tough. If it was any other figure besides Fives, I would probably lead him to the Star Wars action figure section. But since it's Fives, I would point him to the grocery aisle, sprint to the toys, grab the Fives, pay for it, and leave without him noticing. But I think the real more dilemma is why Hasbro decided to make Fives a Walmart exclusive. Gaming asks... So, off a limb here, but do you know anything about these sideshow pre-order delays? I ordered an, the Rex, and he keeps getting delayed, and it's just frustrating. Anywho, what are the three Legends characters you would like to see in the Black Series line? So, it's not just, uh, it's, it's not just Sideshow and Hot Toys that are getting delayed. It's really everything that is getting shipped to the U.S. Black Series, Legends, um, literally any other product that is getting shipped and that's just because a lot of the ports right now are just full of ships there's not enough employees to unload them so uh, you know just big huge cargo ships of uh, whatever it might be are just sat in in port there with nobody to unload them and if you ever hear anything with the whole uh, shipping crisis right now that's pretty much what's going on and because of that shipping prices are also going up quite a bit as well so if you see price increases uh, recently that has somewhat to do with the shipping uh, the shipping crisis as well but it is a real shame and hopefully a lot of this uh, the stuff fix itself pretty soon but who knows Anyway, the three Legends characters I'd like to see, I think Starkiller is definitely one big one. Obviously love the character, and uh, he'd be so good in the Gaming Greats line. For the other two, those are tough. And uh, for the other one, I'd have to say Kyle Katarn. I'm not going to do three, I'm just gonna, only going to do two. But Kyle Katarn is such a cool character, such an interesting character, and I really hope he makes it into canon eventually, in either Book of Boba Fett, Mandalorian, Ahsoka, whatever it is, I hope he makes it back into canon, but I'd love to see a Black Series figure of him. Quentin Miss asks, Mims, sorry, Quentin Mims asks, how do you feel about the HasLab or about a HasLab Tiger Shark gunship from the 2003 Clone Wars and what could be some of its funding goals? So this one is tough. I, I do really think this is tough only because a gunship in Black Series scale is going to be very, very big. And I think a gunship for TVC is just too small. It's not really big enough for a HasLab release. So, um, yeah, if you're saying HasLab, it pretty much has to be Black Series. And it's just way too big. If they're going to do one of those, it would be six, $700 and take up an entire room's worth of space. But I'd love to see one just because I'm a huge gunship fan. Um, I think it needs to come with at least Fordo and a... Uh, blue arc trooper as the standard figures and then maybe some of the stretch goals could be 
a uh, arc trooper with one of those like chest turrets, or maybe a um, Anakin, Obi Wan, Yoda, Mace Windu, different Jedi to go with it. But yeah, I'd be pretty excited to see one of those if it ever did get released. And even if it's just like half a gunship, I'd love to see any sort of gunship in the Black series. Angelo asks, do you think we will get a Black Series Captain Grey and Captain Hauser, as they were both in Bad Batch, and do you think we will get an Arc Trooper Jesse with Hasbro using the unique Arc Trooper Echo mold? Tough question. I think that if they're going to make Echo, it's going to be in the Arc Trooper mold just because of the popularity of Season 7, but I would love to see Echo on the plain uh, Phase 2 body. I just think I prefer that armor a little bit better. And... Um, Captain Grey and Captain Hauser, I feel like, are going to happen eventually. There's two super popular clones in Season uh, 1 of the Bad Batch there, and I feel like it's just Hasbro throwing away money if they don't make it. I think uh, Hauser would be the first one to get made, only because he is the exact same mold as the recent uh, clone Shock Trooper, or I guess Imperial Shock Trooper, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that was revealed, so all they'd have to do is repaint that, and uh, you got Hauser. Either way, I don't really care, but I'd love to see them in the Black Series. The next question asks, what camera and microphone do you use to film? I just use my iPhone 11 Pro to film. Films in 4K, and it comes out pretty good, super easy to edit. And then microphone, I just use a cheap gaming headset, probably like 20 or 30 bucks for the headset. It's not very expensive, so that just shows that you don't need any special equipment or super fancy stuff to really start a YouTube channel if you don't want to. Um, obviously, it might make life easier, but... If you really want to make a YouTube channel, go for it. Use what you got. Use the resources that you have. It's been a blast the last uh, two years that I've been doing YouTube, and uh, I uh, I really encourage you guys, if you have any desire to start a YouTube channel, just go for it. And then, like I said, this video is going to be a little bit shorter than normal, but the last question for today from Echo Bricks, he asks, do you think that we could possibly get a Commander Doom in the Black series? Hasbro could just use uh, the Commander Fox body to do it. So, yes, I think that is very possible. I think that uh, it is the exact same mold as Commander Fox, so they could just easily do a repaint. But if they were to do a Commander Doom, I so hope they would do it on the newer clone body. I like the Fives figure, but gosh, I hate that body so much. The arms suck, the legs suck, the the figure sucks. Uh, it looks amazing, but the articulation is really bad, and I really, really hope that from now on they never use that clone body again. For the most part, they've gotten out of it. Most of the clones now that have been recently released, they have been releasing on the Rex body, which thank God they have because I absolutely love that Rex body, one of the best clone molds I've ever made. So I'm glad they're kind of releasing more figures on that Rex body, but I hope that Doom would be on the newer clone body, not the Rex one, and that's because he is a Clone Wars figure, and the newer clone body has more of that animated style to it, and since he is a Clone Wars clone, the animated style would make sense to uh, make a figure of. So yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and if you guys do want to get your collections, customs, or recent pickups featured in the next video, please tag me on Instagram, uh, DM me some of your photos. I'd love to feature them, and also comment down below if you got any questions either. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I do really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.